Welcome back to Let's Play Thomas Was Alone. I, this, this, oh God, no, I'm sorry. This excitingly heart, uh, heartwarming tale of what the hell is going on that I do so enjoy. Obviously, I need you to be there. I need you to be here. Oh, dang, he is strong. Clearly. I forgot how airy that guitar is. There we go. Go us! Oh, yes. Sorry about the hair. Not sure what's going on with that, right. but here Fear we go. Friends, for I am Claire, and I will save you. Claire, this is adorable. Superhero May, as soon as possible. Claire was rubbish. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. What is what is Claire's name going to be? I I have to wonder. Super Square? It's raining. Claire arrived just in time. Which was, of course, the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. Huh, that's weird. Oh, oh, oh. Water's rising, water's rising. Ah! I'm sorry, I got you all killed. Yay. Oh, this is just so... Like I w it would, I want to be cynical about this game. As the water began to rise, Claire vowed to save this little rectangle. But I can't. In as many restarts as it took. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Claire wondered if Thomas would make a good sidekick. Shoot. Or was she more the Lone Avenger type? Oh, she'd like that. The sole hero in a world of rectangles and. Conveniently placed pools of toxic water. <laughs> hilarious. Well, I don't know, hilarious, but heartwarming. Supremely heartwarming. I need this game. After a long day of recording other games, <laughs> this game was necessary. Uh, so this is this what it's going to take? The staircases were a bit of a fixture here. I wondered why the world made it so difficult. It's actually a really good question, Claire. Very astute observation. This is so cute. Claire probably needed a nemesis. A villain. We don't need a nemesis. True colors at the worst possible moment. Hurting all she held dear. Don't need a nemesis. Don't put that on yourself, Claire. the most obvious choice. He seemed stroppy enough, and his jump was so pathetic that it conveniently avoided Claire's insecurities. Fuck off! Chris. Diabolical Chris. Stop it! Fiendish Christopher. I, I could just not play this game. If you're all you're going to do is make fun of me. Uh, I love this game too much. It's such... Such a delight to play. Yep. All right. All aboard. Especially you, Chris. Especially you. All right, puzzle game. I have figured you out. Thank you. Oh, man. Wait. Where had Chris gone? Was he off somewhere? Plotting Claire's downfall? Maybe. Honest. And she had to be because she was a superhero. This was a troubling turn of events. What? Oh. Still, there were reasonably sized bodies of water to cross. Oh no! Oh no! I didn't realize that by doing that it would. Oh, I could just skip across. Okay, that's much better. 
put myself right there. I will put myself right here. And I will... Humpity humpity up and up and up and up. Yeah, yeah, yay. Yay, yay. And down. Yay, I was afraid there was gonna be water down here, but nope. We are okay. Hello? Moving platforms over water, eh? Claire's newly heightened senses told her that there were multiple paths across with various possible configurations of the little posse. Or I could just kill them all. <laughs> they were doing really well. Claire hoped she could get them all across. John was fully aware he could do this alone. Thomas hoped he'd never have to. There we go. There we go. I like how it, the numbers go with it. Oh, spikes. <laughs> Excuse me, the spikes did me a concern. Claire was alone, which was odd because she wasn't meant to be alone. She needed to be where there were rectangles to save. I agree. Let's get her to that the place. Only superhero in a given space kind of defeats the object. I also agree. That was new. Claire avoided them. She What's that? They were most likely her kryptonite. Not the rubbish red kryptonite either, the proper radioactive green stuff. Proper radioactive green stuff. Alright, we will avoid. Okay, good. We will avoid the spikes. Oh, oh, nope. Did not avoid the spikes successfully. Did not avoid the spikes successfully. Did not avoid the spikes successfully. I'm getting some 140 vibes here. Whew, there we go. Jeez. On the hop. What's that mean? Okay. Oops. I'm sorry, Thomas. I'm sorry, Thomas. There we go. Wow. Deja vu. Yeah, no kidding. The world was repeating. And this time Thomas was here. Claire felt something had gone wrong. There was a disturbance in the force. Pop something culture references. The, matrix. the world was reacting to their progress. It was amassing its forces. It was plotting against them. How dare the world? What? What the fuck just happened? Finally had a nemesis. The world? Huzzah! <laughs> Landed on Thomas! There we go! I'm rubber, you're glue. What is this? Why does this seem so... I built protections into the system. When overlaps occurred, the world generated a splinter to remove the unwanted additionals. It's like a white blood cell. It investigates, it captures, and it removes it from play. I don't like that. Why would you do that? These things are adorable, if somewhat destructive. What is that? What is this sideways thing? Laura was pleased this one was Laura! The wall. Maybe he'd never know what she could do. Maybe, maybe they could just have a conversation. Hang out. As long as he didn't find out what she could do. Which would never happen so long as they stayed separate. What can she do? Is she able to like you know, is she able to kill Chris? Please don't kill Chris. What was that thing? Laura didn't have time to worry about the ominous pixel cloud. I was about to say. It had been following her for some time and it had kept itself to itself until now. More important. Oh, it just went through. So Laura can make me jump. That's awesome. As the square, who had shyly introduced himself as Chris, bounced atop Laura, she began to worry that... <laughs> Freezing? ...was just using her like all the others had. They'd all bounce too, and then they disappeared when her back was turned. Are we not doing phrasing anymore? But that's... I, I mean, this game is just taking, it's making, okay, pause. This game is making us, me, 
hopefully you guys too, care about geometric shapes. It is, it is personifying geometry. And I love it. I love it. How it's giving them personalities. Ever remains looking a little bigger and a little less hungry with every disappearing friend. Oh, the pixel cloud is the uh, the thing that the white blood cell program. Okay. This music is very ominous. Laura found herself less and less irritated by Chris. Yay! She started to miss him when he wasn't there. I knew I'd wear you down eventually. <laughs> it was terrible. This is where we're supposed to go, right? Oh, maybe I could throw myself here? Yeah, there we go. Alright, you've texted my or tested texted tested my hand-eye coordination sufficiently, I believe. Oh <gasps> yay! Ah! Wait. Is this a uh so everyone's bouncing on Laura now? How does Laura feel about this? Laura doesn't look like she has much of a choice, honestly, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. Come on, get in there. Pink. Chris was massively disappointed to run into the gang again. Oh no. He'd enjoyed the alone time with his new girlfriend. I don't think she said that they were boyfriend and girlfriend. Pretty sure that's not how that worked. I will go in here, thank you kindly. And I will touch the button. Ease. Okay, and this one's for Chris. There we go. Boop. Was it too early to refer to Laura as his girl? I was about to say, probably. Only if I say it out loud, he told himself. He didn't want to scare her off. I don't know, I think that the multiple geometric shapes just leaping atop you merrily. It's probably a little bit out there gonna scare her away, maybe. Maybe just a little. My gosh. This game is... It has wit that I wish other games had. Alright, there we go. Ugh, that ominous cloud. Thank you kindly. Part of the problem. Seemed suspicious of Laura and the eager looking pixel cloud of death which seemed to be watching her. Sure, they'd use her inherent bounciness to reach slightly higher jump points, but they wouldn't strike up a conversation with her. Chris found them rude. That is a little rude. Rude? And always there. Yeah, but this ominous music ain't doing us any favors now, is it? Oh, right. Jump you over here. Move you over here. Mm, put you over here. Put you there. Put you right there. And have Chris just skate on through. Perfect. Okay, got four of them again. What's going on here? The others wouldn't drop it. Who's that cloud guy? Why is he following us? What's that rumbling hungry sound he keeps making? Chris, can we just leave Laura behind? Uh, I think, okay, I was about to say, I'm like, I think I broke the game. I think I broke it. I'm sorry. Yep. Rude. Rude. <laughs> Okay, different rates. I'm just gonna have to wait it out and see what happens. Come on. <laughs> Finally. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> Yoink. Uh oh, 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 no, oh, no. Laura's dead. Laura's. What happened there? That was... 
odd. Okay, you're you're you are supposed to go there. You'll go here. Okay, so this involves all of them. Uh, not jumping. Awesome. Okay, and then you. Gotcha. Here you go. You go right there. You could go here. This is strategic as hell. I like it. Laura liked her new gang. She liked Chris. She liked having friends. These ones seem to be sticking around too. Not like those losers from before. And I have you. Can you? Yeah. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Uh, yes. Okay. Cool. Made it. I'm gonna have you hit the button. Run the hell back. There we go. There we go. Look at that awesomeness. Yeah. Oh, last one, I think, for this particular session. Oh, those do not look fun at all. At all. The pixel cloud was getting closer. It was spending more and more Why? time hovering around. Laura could tell it was making the others uncomfortable. I mean, yeah, it would make me uncomfortable too. Okay, so that's where the bouncy one goes. I need to get Chris up there first. All right, got you guys. You're gonna move. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ah, run, run! There we go. No, you just stay right there. Okay. Next up is gonna be you, Plinky. Actually, no, you should not be the next one up. It should be you. Actually, Chris. Chris should be the next one up. Yay, I did it. Derezzed? Great Daft Punk song. No simulation can support too many entities. At a certain point, something has to give. If Thomas AT23612 hadn't possessed those exact personality traits, it's likely the story would have ended there. We'd still be in business. I am guessing that I need to touch those but I am fresh out of time. So thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Let's Play Thomas Was Alone. Like and subscribe if you like what you saw. Comment what you think about this game. And if you want to see me play what I'm guessing is going to be the last episode of this game. Uh, I don't know if there's DLC out for this game. I will try and check on that and find out for you guys. I'm sure Steam or uh, other game uh, uh, store sites will be able to tell you, but uh, I love this game. This, this is such a welcome relief from what I normally play. Not to say that what I normally play is is boring or not worth playing, but sometimes it can get exhausting, and this is a breath of fresh air where there's there's it's, it's really relaxing. So thank you so much for gifting this game to me. I look forward to playing more of it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.